everyone welcome back to the channel matt with green bar trading and in today's video i'm going to go over with you everything that i did today to trade the futures and what led to my success with trading these futures that i'm about to show you so today we finished up 177 dollars and 50 cents going into the thinkorswim platform here this is where we're ending the day and it's only 10 30 in the morning so this is one of those things that's great about trading you know part-time you could come in here trade for an hour or so and take your profit and leave now i trade the futures but i also trade stocks i trade momentum strategy stocks options you name it but these futures are not for those that struggle with managing risk just going to tell you guys that right now this is not for somebody that is struggling with risk management which is what we focus on i have it here i post it on our discord every morning it is absolutely key it is absolutely necessary to learn how to mitigate those losses and try to keep them as small as possible so that being said today we took five trades very good no over trading just looking for those really good opportunities is basically the entire mantra of the 2022 trading year and you know something else that i'm looking at that i'm starting to incorporate more and more into my trading is having these etfs on a separate watch list you can see what markets what sectors are getting a lot of attention so what we're seeing this morning is a lot of those dow industrial type of sectors getting that action so that is why i am trading the um y m h which is the dow futures so you can trade nasdaq futures you can trade the dow jones futures you can trade the russell futures the s n p futures which is the es which i also um took a trade on so this is my platform this is what i'm looking at this is what i'm monitoring i want to see what the nasdaq is doing i want to see what the s p is doing i want to see what the dow is doing because all these affect each other now what we saw and what we've been seeing is a divergence between the dow jones so those value stocks the reopening type stocks and the nasdaq so the nasdaq has been going down the dow has been going up which has been making trading on the es very choppy now i took one quick scalp got out very fast for a very small um you know green trade but i was in the wrong um you know i was trading the wrong thing here. i wanted to be trading what i believe was the stronger of all of these indexes which was the dow we saw the jobs numbers um for the private payrolls come out today which were absolutely incredible so that is always going to be good for that value type of play looking at it on a bigger screen just going to minimize uh, maximize the screen so that you guys can see a little bit better and then i'm going to show you guys key levels are everything if you can't identify key levels just do more homework do more behind the charts get in there and see why do i have a line here why do i have a line here and why do i have a line here at our pre-market high because a lot of times and you can see here this whole section here could not break we saw some uh you know really nice price action up and then back down up 
back down up all into this area we saw selling just pushing it back down until we broke out okay once we broke out this was my best trade of the morning which was my fifth trade and it turned out to be my better one now i was waiting the whole time to see if this broke got involved for the break here and uh took it up so if we can just show the trades here and make it a little bit easier some were better than others but this was um this was the trade right here one contract at three six seven five three which was three six seven five three which was after this break that's what i thought i waited for the break i wanted to have that uh that strong conviction there that this was going to hold up because you know if this wasn't going to hold and we were going to break back down under it i didn't want to take a trade below it and then just to see us come up and then right back down which is what we've seen before so waited for the break got involved and then sold up here um right around here for a very very nice trade so this was um you know trading in this range you had the pre-market high you had a very clear area here in the pre-market that we've come up to a couple of times and then down here kind of just trading along this little bit of a range and then once the beginning of the market opens up if you're crazy enough like me to trade this auction process here you have to be willing to take an l pretty quickly or just wait wait this auction period out which was about you know 45 minutes uh 30 or 45 minutes and then you can wait and see which way the market direction is going to be which if i just had done that this whole time even though these were profitable trades but you know the really good trades are the ones that you wait and you're more patient with so like i said this is the stuff that i monitor now we're up really nicely on the dow as this continues to keep going this is what i thought after seeing the jobs uh numbers this morning and the nq down this is exactly the way that i thought it was going to play out which is why trading this is just i mean this is just way too choppy i mean look at all these pins like everywhere how do you even trade that that is just that's rough that's rough to trade you're up here at four seven eight eight and all of a sudden you're down in one minute eight points that's fifty dollars a point so you know just choosing the right thing to trade which was this um is just what you have to i guess learn and you know follow these etfs see what see what is uh showing a lot of materials a lot of building type of stuff everything that's in the dow is up the most so you know keep this on a separate watch it can definitely help you guys out so that's it um for me 177.50 gonna cut and run here and i'm gonna head over to the gym and enjoy the rest of my day i have my whole day now to relax so hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys are learning something and you know don't forget to hit the thumbs up it helps the video it helps me and uh you know some more people can see it and if you're new subscribe we have a discord go over there check it out link is in the description and um yeah that's it i'll see you guys tomorrow take care